I don't believe it's real. I believe it was all a hoax. I believe, you know, they got a agenda strategy. I don't know what's going on because I don't keep up on that. I've oh. never voted, so I'm not gonna start. My opinion doesn't never matter, so. He didn't deserve that. I mean, he makes his mistake. So we all made mistakes by the big cream. I also think it's very bizarre that he missed. Just considering it, like you have a full setup and everything like that, and you know Trump is there, like you know he's pretty much standing still the whole time that he missed. I think it's pretty fucking wild. Snapped a photo of the person on top of the building, but like security couldn't see them. I know why things are getting so crazy is because he's coming back soon. In American history, four sitting presidents have been assassinated. Abraham Lincoln in 1865, James Garfield in 1881, Williams McKinley in 1901, and John F. Kennedy in 1963. Similarly, three presidents have been injured in assassination attempts. Theodore Roosevelt in 1912, Ronald Reagan in 1981, and Donald Trump, the latest survivor in 2024. As you may know, the attempt to assassinate President Trump was on July the 13th, 2024, at one of his rallies in Butler, Pennsylvania. You might be wondering why exactly, what was the motive behind this, and why did the shooter try to take away the former president's life? Well, this information is still unknown at the moment. However, what we do know is that Texans have their own opinion about this unfortunate event that occurred, and that's what we're exploring today on the streets of Austin, Texas. I mean, honestly, I didn't hear about it until way later. Never been a Trump supporter, honestly, but still think it's kind of crazy. It did kind of seem a little bit staged to me at some point. I think the only clip I saw was like right after and he's like kind of, I can't remember what he was saying, shouting something. Fight. Fight, yeah. yeah. And it's like, okay, why well, is that your first reaction when you just got grazed by a bullet, I guess? I don't know, I would be like, uh, run? I don't <laughs> Like, I just would have the opposite reaction. I think that's fucking bullshit. That's what I think. You put yourself in his shoes, see what happens. You, you try to beat Donald Trump. Mm. Try to take care of this world, you know? You know, everybody's got opinions, man. But you don't think it's fine? I don't really think so. I don't, I don't see why anybody would plan their own assassination. I mean, I don't want to die. Do you? I don't believe it's real. I believe it was all a hoax. I believe, you know, they got a agenda strategy that they try to pull forward, so... I don't believe it was an uh, actual assassination because, you know, it just don't make sense to me. But it got his ear though. I mean, you realize that once he went down and they covered him, anything could happen. I think that everyone's always been crazy for a long freaking time and I don't think that it's anything new. I mean, shoot, JFK got assassinated, Lincoln got assassinated, like there's been plenty of assassination attempts on presidents and I don't think that it's, it's just a timeless thing that keeps happening over and over again, and I don't think anybody's changing from anything. Honestly, I, I think that was insane. I, it was insanity. I think it was, it's, it's hard to fathom that we were, you know, almost about to see a live assassination on camera, and this hasn't been seen since, you know, JFK. So seeing something like that, uh, I, I think regardless if you are a Republican or Democrat, whatever political party, we have to have empathy and still just look at that like it's, it's, it's insanity and, um, you know, we need less violence in this world. I think it's a huge gift for Trump. I always said that COVID was his worst nightmare because the, the economy was doing pretty good. No one saw COVID coming. Trump actually castrated the uh, budget that governs that, you know, pandemics, worldwide pandemics, when he first got into office. So this is just a gift. I honestly, I heard about it and I was like, wow, um, no surprise because, you know, everything has been so controversial in this country for the past five, six years, even before COVID. With his first, you know, term or whatever, the Russian uh, election scandal, all that shit. So, you know, it, it's just, it's not really a big surprise. It's just like, I kind of put it past it. Uh, I kind of saw it coming too. I was just like, wow, man, that's interesting. Um, but yeah, again, no surprise. I don't think it's a dark day. I guess even if you got shot with him, then I guess it would have been dark. But I mean, I think it was just more of like, uh, I was slapped in the face how, you know, far down this country is actually like came. Was the bullet a gift or the fact that he survived It was survived a political gift. gift. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was a political gift. Of course the guy's insane. Uh, I'm sure he was, with, like, he looks like an incel to me. Someone who just, no, no one ever paid attention to him. So he just maybe has some mental disease going on. Here, it caught his ear. That's that's a really good shot. They, whoever that was should be in the military. <laughs> I think he was just, uh, yeah, he was probably hired for the job. A lot of people think he was like uh, some top people that hired from this, uh, hired him for this, which uh, 
seems plausible, but I mean, he could have just been like a hateful Trump, well, like a hater. Uh, that's what I think. You just say hater, some shit. Uh, he didn't deserve that. I mean, he makes his mistakes, but we all make mistakes by the dick cream. You know, but for people to, you know, have uh, breath, teeth, you know, I, I have no teeth. You have beautiful teeth. Yeah. Uh, we're all beautiful people here in Austin. I also think it's very bizarre, not saying that I hope that he actually got shot, but that he missed. I think that, like, just, just considering it, like, you have a full setup and everything like that, and, you know, Trump is there, like, you know, he's pretty much standing still the whole time that he missed, so... That that not that I wanted no, him to. No, wait. I don't think he missed because they said he moved. He moved his head a little to look at the teleprompter, mm, and then okay. that was when the bullet like laced his, Ooh, his ear. Okay. So if not for that movement, it was going straight for his his head. I think it's pretty fucking wild, and I heard that you know there was someone that snapped a photo of the person on top of the building, but like security couldn't see them, so that was kind of wild saw that on, on Facebook yesterday, like a picture. Um, I just think it's pretty wild, and it's wild that they missed. That bullet, if it went past him, there was people behind him. Like something should've got hit, somebody should've got hit, and it, it, the, the chance of you getting nicked by a bullet like that is crazy. It's crazy just to get nicked by it, just enough to touch your ear, but not enough to actually like, hit you. I really don't care. You don't care? I don't, I don't pay attention to no news or anything. I don't really deal with none of that. I've never um, voted, so I'm not gonna start. <laughs> you never voted? Never in my life. Do you think that would ever change? No. <laughs> my, my, my opinion doesn't never matter, so. Who said that? That is always what it is. I'm not even really into the, the debate of anything, honestly. I haven't even voted in God knows how long. My main focus is I know why things are getting so crazy is because Jesus is coming back soon. And that's why things are getting darker, more evil, people are more consumed in themselves. I mean, even myself, I do stuff all the time that's more selfish. I'm on the Lord's side, so I don't see corrupt people as my leader. Had he died, do you think anything would have changed? Probably not. I think more would have happened if he had, if he had gotten killed, for sure. I, I think we'd be in trouble. I think stuff would be going wrong. I definitely think it would have made it a, a lot more polarizing topic. Um, I think it would have created more divisiveness as opposed to uh, unity. So I, th I think people, you know, um, on both sides of the extremes were definitely taking up the arms, uh, particularly that more on the right as more so the left. True might not never come out. It's just whatever they want to do to get people to go vote or whatever the case may be, or, you know, he, can, he stood up afterwards to put his fist up in the area, all that, you know, they, they put on a play. It's a, it's a drama, you know? That's where I see it. That's just my personal opinion. I don't necessarily feel empathetic, and I don't think it'll affect how I vote. I hope this doesn't change what people, who people plan to vote for either, because I feel like as much as it is, it is a crazy thought to think of a president getting, you know, assassinated. Don't let that sympathy turn into, you know, taking your vote. You have to still think of the greater picture of how they're going to control our country and um, the future of your kids as well. So. Again, don't let the empathy cloud your judgment. So many questions asked, so many opinions given. Personally, I condemn violence and I believe violence has no place in society. Be it President Trump or somebody you just met across the street, never resort to violence to resolving issues or expressing disagreements. I would just say I'm just glad that he did not die because I felt the state of the country would have been very different from what it is right now. If you thought January the 6th was anything, Imagine what could have happened if Donald Trump died on July the 13th, 2024. I think a lot more would have happened. A lot more worse things would have happened all over the country. So again, I'm glad it didn't happen. Let's be peaceful with one another and let's learn to be tolerant, even if we may not agree with each other's beliefs and views. Now, I will pose the question back to you guys. How did you receive the unfortunate event? And does this influence your perspective on President Trump moving forward and does this also influence how you're gonna vote? Let me know in the comment section down below. I do appreciate you watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you enjoy videos like this, you're probably gonna like this one and check out what is left in my catalogs. I'll see you shortly with a new video. Be blessed.